Hey, Chef Kendra here, and today we learn how to make pizza rolls. Yes, that frozen food classic, but our version is all natural and they taste way better. We're gonna start off with the filling. We're gonna dump some Italian sausage into a large pot and break it up. We're gonna let it go and get a little bit of color on it. Next, we're gonna toss in some chopped garlic, our seasoning blend. Next in is our tomato paste. And now we pour in some olive oil. Now we're gonna stir that up for a couple minutes. You'll notice a slight change in color and a wonderful smell start to develop. Now we're gonna add our crushed tomatoes and stir it up really well. We're using all natural wonton wraps that happen to be found in the produce section of my grocery store. I've seen it in other stores by the cheese. I don't know why they put it there, but hey. Okay, we're gonna stir this off and we're gonna let it go for about 10 minutes over medium low. Pour the mixture into a big bowl, cover and refrigerate it for about an hour. Now we have our mixture right out of the fridge and now we're gonna stir in our cheese. Gino Paulucci came up with pizza rolls in 1968. He sold his Gino brand of Pillsbury for a cool $135 million. And it was rebranded as part of the Tostino's line in 1993. Let's put this together. Wet the edges with water. Make sure you get all four of the edges. Now take a level teaspoon of the filling and place it in the middle of our wonton. Fold the sides of the wonton over the filling, one side and then the other, making sure to seal it really tight. Tuck in the edges and repeat with the rest of the wontons in the filling. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it one more time. These make for great appetizers for your football party or any sports party for that matter. Besides, these are way cheaper to make yourself than the kind you buy at the store. As far as I'm concerned, the most important thing is that I know what's in them. I'm no food snob, but I just like to know what's in my food. So if I can make my favorites at home without all the extra nonsense, I'm pretty happy about it. So tuck in the last two ends, and that's basically all it is to it. Hey, the link to the recipe is in the about section below. Lightly dust wax paper lining a baking sheet with cornstarch and add the filled wontons. Lightly dust the wontons with the cornstarch using the strainer. Cover with more wax paper and repeat the process until all the wontons are stacked on the sheet. Cover with more wax paper and freeze for two hours. Okay, heat the oil to 375 degrees and let's fry these guys up. It only takes a couple of minutes and the next thing you know, we have arrived at golden brown and delicious. Drain on a rack and let it cool a bit before eating. Share this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And I will see you on Tuesday. Seth Kendra is out. Peace.